Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate, episode 84. We're still in Cloakwood. Oh yeah. More like somebody stop the Kool-Aid man. Oh no, cause there are no oh yeahs in Cloakwood. There is only terror and oh no's and like despair and, and the, the, the not goods and you know, stuff like that. Not cool. Okay, anyway, enough of that nonsense. Um, we're still in Cloakwood, as I said before, and this place just keeps getting worse and worse. Alright, uh, typically a good strategy, or not a good strategy, but just a strategy we're employing right now, is we're gonna, uh, scout out with our best, uh, Hide and Shadow character, the cat, El Gato himself. Thank you, whoever pointed that out once again. He's his the cat scouting ability is invaluable at this point. Anyway, enough of that. Um, so it looks like we're scoping out some huge spiders there. We could probably take them easy. Um, <clears throat> but unless we need to to get something down here, I think we're gonna just be avoiding most everything. Okay, a couple of huge spiders. Or yeah, those no, those ones are giant. I can never keep the two names oh, yeah, separate. But, courtesy of the Miranda Monster Generator, these look like they were scripted to be here, so these are probably part of the actual game. Um, face spiders. Probably we don't want to mess with them, because if they poison you, it's five damage per round or turn or whatever it is, so... Um, typically that's, that's like, that, oh, that about comes to, uh, five damage per second, and it's kind of like, oh, I'm poisoned dead. So, or at least for our low hit point characters. 30, 25, and 40, we're all kind of on the lower end of hit points. Alright, so it doesn't really look like we even need to go down there, because it's just more of the Sword Coast. Um, let's just see what's up here. And, uh, oh, yeah, more giant spiders. Oh boy. Oh boy! Well, that's not good. Alright, let's get, uh, let's get him out of there. That's okay, he can outrun the spiders. Good thing they're kind of slow. <laughs> and a successful hide in shadows. That's brilliant. If memory serves, <laughs> I'll just walk over to where he was and then stand around confusedly. That could work to our advantage, moving them up there. Oh boy, Edder Caps. And where there's Edder Caps, there's probably a web spell. I don't know how much we want to tempt fate with that one! Run, kitty, run! Whew. Alright, that was a little bit close, but wow, the cat actually rolled magic resistance on the web trap, so a saving throw was not even required. Kudos for El Gato! He is the man. Or the Neko. Or whatever language you happen to be speaking. Well, alright. The cat has left the shadows. We're staring at a web trap. I really don't see a need to try and mess with that right now. Looks like we've pretty much explored this area. And I don't really see anything else of interest that we're gonna mess around with. There's some... It was was it here that the other... No. It was like, right there. There's the other caps. We're gonna wanna kinda stay away from that area. It looked like there was like three of them that we could see. There might be more in the shadows there. Um... But was this area clean? I can't remember. We should honestly probably just wait for the web trap to go away, which it did. And we'll just continue on down here. Curse these editor caps. Oh my gosh, there's five of them. Dear word. Alright. No! What the? Ah! Run, kitty, run! Jiminy Christmas. Alright, web traps for all. Let's not go over there. So now that our cat has pretty much completed his secret super spy mission, I think it's safe to get the other party members up here. Yes. We'll just have to be careful what path we take. Alright. And... Doesn't really look like there's anything up here. 
Alrighty. We'll, uh, have him come meet up with the party again. Probably down around in this area. And we'll just check the... Check one last time, make sure we aren't going to get jumped by anything. I think there might have been some spiders up here. Maybe. No. Okay. Well, no, that... that we're good. We are good. We're finally going to get out of this area. Oh, it seems like every section in Lo Cloakwood is a long haul. Alright, sneak around, sneak around. Kind of a cowardly strategy, friends, but, um... You do what you have to do, and what's nice about a game like Baldur's Gate is, uh... You don't have to engage everything. Not not every single situation is solved by violence, just most of them. Yeah. Violence is not the answer, it's just a solution, right? Well, it's the only solution, half the time, but... At any rate... <clears throat> Had a little bit of a computer freakout moment there, but we are back in a new area. How exciting. Let's greet this area by resting. Camping on its soil, claiming it as our own. Oh, jeez. I think these things beg to differ. Alright, so Dreadwolves. Typical strategy, just kill them. Do damage. Blah, blah, blah. Shoot missiles at them. Save the cat! There's, there's, that's gonna be a new brand of weapons. There's gonna be save the queen, save the king, and save the cat. Save the cat's gonna be the secret weapon, though. It's gonna be better than all the others. Alright, resting again. Now we have the cover of night. Hey, wait, who are you? Oh ho ho! This'll be a treat, friends. Gentlemen, gentle women, may I introduce myself? I am Eldoth Croft. Say hello, friends, to Eldoth, the... Is he chaotic neutral? He's something. He's a bard. Sorry if I seem out of breath, but I had to retreat from a battle. I was ambushed by a dozen gnolls farther back on the trail. I handily dispatched them, but thought better of fighting their half-dozen ogre friends. I think I've evaded them for now. Would any of you care for a drink of some fine Selgantian brandy? Hmm. We could either say, likely story, and we defeated 50 Terrasks a day ago. Bugger off. Or, sure, give us some booze. We'll go with that one. I hope you are enjoying your liquor. It is some of the best you can find. All of you are probably wondering why I'm being so generous. Obviously not from the kindness of his heart, you think. Well, in a way I am. You look like the type to be on the outlook of ways to improve the quality of your life. Well, I have a proposal that could help you in this endeavor. You see, there's a girl, my lover in fact, who desires to escape her father and live on her own. Her father is Antar Silvershield. Antar Silvershield? Didn't we just save him? One of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This, of course, makes her desires more difficult than that of the average city girl. However, with your assistance, we could help her escape the tyrannical clutches of Entar. Here is the punchline. Since Entar is going to be hunting us anyway, we can blackmail him for hordes of cash and not worry about our captive escaping. After all, we're doing it all for the sake of Ski. Uh, Ski is the girl he's trying to woo. Now, we w needn't go about this right away. In fact, I'll help you with whatever you're doing until you decide to head up to Baldur's Gate. Just think of it as one favor deserving another. Rock on! Sure, we could always use it. a little extra help, and your scheme sounds like it could work. I'm glad you're all savvy enough to recognize a good opportunity when it comes. Alright, we got another party member. Let's check out some stats here. You're so dull. Yeah, I really can't do his voice very well, but that's okay. Anyway, we're looking at a bar, neutral evil, which means neutral evil characters are primarily concerned with their selves. They're not typically going to go around mass murdering orphans, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, strength is 16, good strength. Dexterity at 12, could be better. You get no armor bonus for, but, you know, whatever. 15 constitution, a plus 1 on your hit points. 13 intelligence, could be better. Wisdom of 10, well, I mean... Bards don't need wisdom, so who cares? And a charisma is 16. Well, you know. He's got decent stats. It's really just the character personality and the fact that he has the special ability to create five poisoned arrows a day. I mean, come on. You know, only he can use them, but still. The fact is, the man can create arrows of poison. Those things are cool. 
Anyway, so let's just make a quick note of what he's proficient uh, weapon-wise. Dagger, spear, and short bow. So that works for us. More range and uh, probably a couple spells to boot. Uh, a couple of Larlock Minor Drains. Let's get rid of those and give him uh, two magic missiles instead. Larlock Minor Drain is kind of worthless, but you know we'll keep one of them just to keep him in character. Well, that'll be it for this episode, friends. We've got another party member. Rock on. And we're in another area of Cloakwood. Also rock on. So we'll be adventuring in the next episodes to come. Until then.